Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a functional equation. We have f of x plus 1 over x equals x cubed plus 1 over x cubed and we're going to evaluate f of 4. I'm going to be presenting two methods and briefly mention a third method. Alright, let's get started with the first one. So my first method is basically setting the x plus 1 over x equal to 4 and then finding the x value and plugging it in on the right hand side. But obviously we're going to get a quadratic equation from here and let's see what happens. Multiply everything by x, obviously x does not equal 0, we know that. So that's going to give me x squared plus 1 equals 4x. And then if I put everything on the same side, I get x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. Great. Now this quadratic equation has real roots and it has two real roots. And they can be found easily. There is a method called Poshan Low method. Maybe we can talk about it one day. But basically, you can use the quadratic formula. You can use completing the square. Whatever you use, you're going to end up with the following roots. x is going to be either 2 plus root 3 or x is going to be 2 minus root 3. Great. Now, which x value we're going to use? And the answer is it doesn't matter. Why? You'll see in a little bit. Now, if I just use the positive value, since the answer is not going to matter and you can check it for yourself, I'm going to use the positive one. I mean, the, the one that has the plus sign. They're both positive, but 2 plus root 3 looks more positive to me. So, let's go ahead and substitute that. And you got to notice that when I plug in 2 plus root 3, obviously, the stuff inside the parentheses is going to equal 4 because that's how we got the x value. So, from here, f of 4 is going to equal x cubed, which is 2 plus root 3 cubed plus 1 over the same thing, right? Obviously, if we can evaluate 2 plus root 3 cubed, then we can just plug in its reciprocal and go from there. So to save you the trouble, it's easy. You can do it with the binomial theorem or with a calculator or whatever. But if you cube 2 plus root 3, you're going to be getting 26 plus 15 root 3. Of course, you're going to get something, uh, a number of the same kind. So now, if I plug in this number into my equation here, f of 4 is going to equal 26 plus 15 root 3 plus 1 over that. And now, and at this point, we need to rationalize the denominator. Let's go ahead and multiply by the reciprocal, which is 26 minus 15 root 3, both the top and the bottom. And when you multiply these, you're going to get something interesting. f of 4 is going to equal. Obviously, we have the 26 plus 15 root 3. And then here, 1 multiplied by that is going to be the same thing. And then it's going to be multiplied, I mean divided by 26 squared minus 15 times root 3 squared. If you square 15 root 3, so from here we're, we're getting something like this. If you square 15 root 3, you're going to get 225 times 3 which is 675. And 26 squared just happens to be 676, so their difference is 1. Awesome. Everything is awesome. So we can just go ahead and simplify this because dividing by 1 is going to give me the same thing. 15 root 3 and negative 15 root 3 are going to cancel out. And this is going to leave us with f of 4 equals 26 plus 26, which is equal to 52. Now, I told you that even if you used uh, the other root, you would still get the same solution. Let me explain a little bit why that's happening. So we got from our equation that x squared minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. So you can kind of consider this the third method, even though I'm not necessarily calling it the third method. Okay. So from here, we can isolate x squared, you know, something that we a lot of times do with polynomials. And then I want to evaluate x cubed. Obviously, x cubed is going to be x squared times x and I can just replace x squared with 4x minus 1 and then distribute this gives me 4x squared minus x and again I can replace x squared with 4x minus 1 because that's my formula that's going to give me 4 times the quantity 4x minus 1 minus x again this is x cubed and from here I get uh, 15 16x minus x which is 15 15x minus 4 so if I'm able to write x squared as 4x minus 1 then x cubed can be written as 15x minus 4. Let's see what that means. So we started off with this. 
And now we're going to substitute uh, this for x cubed. Uh, and remember, our expression is x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. If you replace x cubed with 15x minus 4 here and here, and then make a common denominator, multiply by itself, you're going to get 225x squared minus 120x plus 16, of course, plus 1, plus 17. And now we're going to divide it by 15x minus 4. Again, this is x cubed. Remember that. I'm sorry, it's x cubed plus 1 over x cubed, not just x cubed, but it's this, okay? Great. Okay, so this is what we're talking about, right? This is what I'm evaluating basically at this point. And then, uh, of course, you can replace x squared with um, 4x minus 1 again, and that's going to give you 225 times 4x minus 1, and then minus 120x plus 17 divided by 15x minus 4. When you distribute this, you're going to get 900x. Subtract 120, you're going to get 780x. Minus 225 plus 17, that's going to give you negative 2 of 8 divided by 15x minus 4. And if you uh, look at 720, 780 and 2 of 8, uh, that's actually, they're, both of them are divisible by 52. And this is actually 52 times 15, and this is 52 times 4. So if you take out a 15, I mean 52, what am I talking about? You're going to get 52 times 15x minus 4 divided by itself, and at the end, you're going to get the same answer. So it doesn't really matter as long as x squared equals that, we're going to get the same answer. So let's go ahead and talk about the second method without further ado, and then finalize this. My second method is a little different, so I'm going to start by cubing x plus 1 over x. So can I use an identity? Uh, remember, I told you earlier that this can be written as a cubed plus b cubed plus 3ab multiplied by a plus c. And I told you that this is a very helpful identity. It's going to be very helpful here. So I can write it li like this. x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus 3 times x times 1 over x times x plus 1 over x. But x times 1 over x is equal to 1, so I can totally forget about that. And from here, my goal is to isolate x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. I can basically write it as the quantity x plus 1 over x cubed minus 3 times x plus 1 over x. Now you got to remember that this expression on the left hand side is equal to f of x plus 1 over x. So I kind of get this equation from here, which is really, really cool. And now I'm trying to evaluate f of 4, right? So I need to replace x plus 1 over x with 4, but I don't care what x is. I can basically replace it everywhere. And from here, f of 4 is going to be 4 cubed minus 3 times 4, which is 12. And 4 cubed is equal to 64. 64 minus 12, that is going to give me the same answer as before. And f of 4 is going to be 52. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.